I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Lent, and why I'm always happy in it. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. That's our mission, and you love that mission. So give today. All right. We're going to take a look again at the text we looked at yesterday um, to help us with why Pastor Borkhart always tells us to be to have a happy land. When you fast, don't look like um, sullen, like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. They get their reward in full. This is Matthew 6, verse 16. Why do I always wish you a happy Lent? Look, I understand that Lent is about the suffering and death of Jesus. I understand without doubt that this is about being fronted up to God and there's no better way to be fronted up to God than do it seriously. And in no way am I trying to take away from your devotion to God by telling you to have a happy Lent. But what I'm doing and what I will attack is the false understanding that the more serious you are, the more reverent you are. That is simply not true and it's not biblical. Okay. Last I checked, joy is the second fruit of the Spirit. So I wish you a happy Lent, and I tell you to have a happy Lent, and, and I, we've done this for many, many years, and because, look, be happy on the outside, be repentant on the inside. Let your reverence have joy in it. All right, I get, look, I'm only a fourth German, but I get it. I get you Lutherans. I, I, I do. I do. And I'm, I'm in the club. I, I, I'm, um, the more serious, the more Christian. And we look at Lynn, we're like, finally, as Germans, we finally get to be as serious as we've been always wanting to be. It's a season designed for Germans. Well, hold up. This season is about the suffering and death of Jesus. This season is to prepare you for his resurrection. You know the story. And you love to tell it. That of Jesus who took upon himself your sins, lived the life you should live, died your death, and rose again on the third day. You understand it. You, you know this. You believe this. And on the third day, he rose again. And Lent isn't just, I'm going to hold my breath till Easter. 40 days plus the six Sundays and then Easter. Lent is, I'm going to take all out of my life that isn't of Jesus. And I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to do a spring cleaning. Lent is the old English word for spring. I'm going to do a spring cleaning on my life. Get rid of all the, 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 the crud so that I can be in receiving mode and receive all the more Jesus' Calvary one gifts. The issue is, I'm going to get rid of playing and acting a certain way. What I mean by that is, this isn't more Christian than this. This isn't more Christian than this. My hands. All right. This isn't more Christian than this. And this isn't more Christian than, than this. There's a joy in the Lenten season, and it's okay to have it. Thank God that God is calling us to repentance and preparing us for his suffering and death. Thank God that he has given us another spring to, to, to die to ourselves so that we might be raised to new life again. Thank God for Jesus 
who lived his life for us and died our death so that we might live forever, not just for a little while, but forever. And that might make you tap your foot a little bit during him, even him by an old German dead guy. It might get you to, 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 to be happy. It's not just look at what I've given up and how bad I'm going to beat myself up in the season. <laughs> no, there's also a joy there. So, now, don't leave here going, well, i got to be joyful. Man, you've missed the point entirely. The point is that you can be. You're free to be. All right, whatever face you normally have, have it during the Lenten season. If you are crabby, 365, then for all sake, don't be like, it's Lent and so I need to be happy. No, be yourself. Let your, let your, the reason why he tells them to wash their face is, is so that nobody will see their, their fasting. Let no one see your Lenten fasting. So, man, don't buy the idea that the more, the more serious you are, the more reverent you are. Because there's a joy in the Lord, and that is our strength. So have a happy and blessed and a joyful Lenten season. Dare I say, Merry Lent, as you contemplate the suffering and death of Jesus and how that repents you as you prepare for his resurrection. I'm Pastor George Barker, and this has been another Higher Things video short.